Far more. Okay. If you look at lesson number one, um, it goes over the, the subsets of real numbers. That is something, though, although you probably should jot this down because this bears a little reviewing. We did this last year under sets. You have these set designations. Remember, you had the, the U shape and the this shape. The U was union. the union of two sets. And this was the intersection of two sets of numbers. And we'll do an example, and then that will be all we need there. Um, for example, if set A equals um, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, and set B equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if you are asked to give the set of the union of A and B, union means both put together. And in this case, both of them put together would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10. If you're asked to give the intersection of A and B, that's what they both have in common, which would just be 2 and 4. 2 and 4. Um, they also have give you this little thing. If you ever see this little zero with a slash through it, that's called an empty set, which means there's no members in it. If I asked you to give me the set of all the days of the week that end with the letter X, it would be an empty set because there are no days of the week that end with the letter X. Uh, isn't that a good example? Let's see. All right, good. How about that? Lesson number two, if you're paging with me, you already know what a variable is, right? Constant. Oops, sorry. Yep. Numbers that don't change. Factors, coefficients we've talked about, terms, you know, there we go, lesson number three. Uh, number three is all about powers, you already know that. Four is about order of operations, we're not going to talk about those. Uh, and five is absolute value. Don't do that and then no. Under absolute value, absolute value. Anybody know the exact definition of the app of absolute value? You could look it up. Wait, how many numbers it takes to get to zero? Yeah, distance. Actually, it's the distance from zero. Did you look that up, or did you know that? Huh? And that's why absolute. Value can never, ever, 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 ever be negative. Okay, because distance can never be negative. You can never travel a negative amount of distance. Yes, you can walk backwards, but you're still going a positive distance. If I walk backwards from here to Yorkville, it's still four miles. It's not negative four miles. So if you're looking for the absolute value of negative four on a number line, here is zero, one, two, three, negative four. You are looking for this distance. And that's why the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4, or just 4. And that's why the absolute value of a positive 4 is not negative 4. You're not making things that are opposite, you're just making them positive. The only thing you have to watch out for, ladies and gentlemen, is this. This is where people go wrong. Negative absolute value of 7 plus 13. What is the answer to that? No, 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 no. Thank you, Abram. Abram got it. Yeah, you, first of all, this is a grouping symbol. Before you take something's absolute value, you put it together. So this is, ends up being the absolute value of 20, which is a positive 20, 
But there is a negative on the outside, as Abram said, and that means your answer is negative 20. This absolute value doesn't include that. This is on the outside. And also, if you see something like this, the absolute value of a negative 7 plus 13, what do you suppose the answer to that is? It is not 20. Remember what I just said here? You have to you have to do the operations inside this first before you do the absolute value. Yeah, negative seven plus thirteen is positive six, and then there's a negative on the outside, which makes it negative six when it's all said. You kind of get the gist of that. And then that's just the answer. And then that would just be the answer. What? I'm going to binge watch your videos tonight. Sure. It's not recording, you see? And the last one, this one is. If they ask you if something is closed, is our, let me, let me write out a book. Are rational numbers closed under addition? Are rational numbers closed under addition. What does that mean? Anybody? That means this. The question you have to ask yourself, can you add two rational numbers together and get a irrational number. So what you have to know what, Parker, are irrational numbers? Um, like decimal and square roots. Square roots of numbers that don't work out and pi. This is saying, can you add two rational numbers together that will give you something that's not a rational number. So you can just start with, well, 6 plus 8 is 14. Is that rational? Yes. Uh, what if you add 1 half plus 1 half? Is that rational? Yes. Are there any numbers, two numbers you could add together that start out rational? When you add them together, they become irrational. Evelyn. The square root is three. The square so, root of nine. Square, the square root of. Okay. Yeah. 25. And what? What? Twenty. No. Square root of twenty-five. That's wrong. Well, that would be the same as three plus five, and you get eight. So the answer. The answer to this is yes. It is closed. There's no way you can add two rational numbers together to get something that's not rational. Um, let me. Oh, Should the answer be no? You know, as to the first question, are rational numbers? Yes. Oh, um, are, here, let me give you one. Are integers closed under division? In other words, can you divide two integers that will give you something that's not an integer? No. Well, let's look. Here's an integer divided by an integer, and you get an, an integer, right? What about this? What's 4 divided by 8? 2.5. Is 5 an integer? Yes. Oh. Integers are positive and negative whole numbers. So this is what we call a counterexample, which means it proves example, example, which proves it's false. So the answer to this is no. You can divide two integers together that will give you something that's not an integer. Closed, closed, closed. Bam. Guess what? We're on lesson number five. No way. Yep. All of the stuff you've had before. You 
should find this incredibly easy. You should laugh. You should laugh.